All right, everybody, we are back with more Better Call Saul, and this time we're on Season 4, Episode 5. Before we get started, just a quick heads up if you are watching this over on YouTube, that you can watch the Flint version of this reaction, as well as get early access reactions by supporting the Patreon. I would love your support, but aside from that, let's stop talking and get started. Okay. Jackpot. Are we... It's all here. Meaning what, exactly? Yeah, meaning, uh, you know, field mice and, you know, you got your nest building school, you got your... What is happening? Whatever. Three tears for morality. Use your words. <laughs> uh -huh. We're in the Breaking Bad era right now. <laughs> Not the right episode? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, had to, I had to check. Smell gone now. <laughs> Francesca is. <laughs> she is fed up. All right, that's it. I'm going. Do me a favor. Take those with you. Drop them off at least five miles from here in separate dumpsters. <laughs> you paying me for this? Oh, right. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna need a little extra. <laughs> okay, when the cops come talk to you, and they will, what are you gonna tell them? Talk to my attorney. Yeah. Tell them, uh, Jimmy sent you. Jimmy sent you. Okay, and where are you gonna be November 12th at 3 p.m.? I'll be there, but if it doesn't ring at 3 on the dot, I'm gone. Uh, don't worry, it's gonna ring. It's quite a ride, huh? <sighs> <laughs> She's so different. <sighs> like, no. Yep. <laughs> Thanks for the employment. <laughs> I need a new dust filter for my Hoover Max Extract wow. Pressure Pro Model 60. Can you help me with that? This is a crazy fast a forward. How hot? Red hot. I know where that is. I'll be there. I'm scared now. Like, why did they show us that? In this episode? Like, normally I feel like this is like season premiere kind of information that they show. Obviously the season from premiere is primarily for post disappearance and identity change, but. Anyways, back to <laughs> Jimmy days. God. Yep. <clears throat> Maximum privacy. It's the best money can buy. Um, yeah, yeah, I can do six. Okay. See you He's later. good. <laughs> Welcome to CC Mobile. Privacy sold here. Yep. This is the place. So He's so, good. Uh, oh my god. So a cash How is business? he? Like a contracting business. Contracting could be. Could be. Wait until his boss Maybe hears he'll about this. Every single um, penny. I mean, strategy. Does, right? How are you doing that business? On the phone. They don't know. Can't hurt you. Especially oh, if you use it only once per. <laughs> you know, that's kind of key. <laughs> once per. Once per what? Once per once week. Once per call. Once per day. Once per call. I mean, How much are they? They're cheaper than an audit. Guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god he's good thanks again and that's it <laughs> tell your friends make a little delivery god they kept all oh, this man and everything the moment he picked up, picked up that phone <laughs> Mike. Paid parking ticket in the cup holder to exit the lot. Make a right. Follow the signs for I-70 West. Got it? 70 headed west. Yes. Keep the phone close by. I'll call you in about 20 minutes and talk you through the rest of it. Okay? I understand. Yes. <laughs> God, Mike. Yes, I'm here. Mark 238. 
But there's nobody here? You need to relieve yourself? No. Because <laughs> if you do, I suggest you do it now. You're not going to have another chance for a while. As I said, I'm fine. Suit yourself. Pop the trunk. Inside, you'll see a hood. Oh my Take god. Out, oh, that is trunk, terrifying. Place luggage next to you and put the hood on. You want me to stand here with the hood on my head? Those are the rules. <laughs> He's like, I didn't stutter. Oh my god. That is so scary! Like the level of trust you need. Step forward. And we're gonna hit some rough road. There's a strap for you to hold on to if you reach out to your left. God. <laughs> I mean, judging by how long this is, you probably should have taken that bathroom break before, huh? <laughs> That's good. Right there. How long was he in that? <laughs> hey. So, where exactly? The entrance will be back there. You need to stay within the footprint of the building. It's gonna be our lab. You can do it? Absolutely. How long will it take? Do what? I don't want to say seven months, but I think I could do it in six. With the right equipment, modern methods, blasting will be quite unnecessary. Assuming your employer is willing to meet my price. Price isn't an issue. <laughs> 56 feet down with no blasting, working nights only. Oh. Seven months max. My so the lab doesn't even exist under the area. Into downtown El Paso, three quarters of a kilometer long. That's crazy. Undetected. If I can do that, I can certainly do this. Gus doing a little warm check in. How's everything doing? Did we get him? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's what I thought. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Pardon. So what does that mean? <laughs> Welcome aboard. <laughs> All right, you got the job, it looks like. It was too tight. I'll live with it. Where do you look when the judge is talking to you? In the eyes. And what do you call the judge? Sir? Ma'am? Or better still, your honor? Your honor. Sit over there. And leave that alone. <laughs> she sounds like a mother. Not guilty? You can't be serious. On what planet would you take this to trial? You should work with me on this one. Kid threw a cinder block through a jewelry store window. And I have a witness. The arresting officers took the first part of my guy's statement before he was Mirandized. They collected evidence based on that interview, and you knew all about it. That's irrelevant. How would you, why would you even? Not only will your case be DOA, but she will rip you a new one on the record. <laughs> Judge is not buying any of that. I think she will. Uh... It's all right here. Is he listening? Okay. Can he hear all this? <laughs> Ten months jail. Six months probation. Time served. Are you joking? I mean, we started at 18 months jail. Up to you. Oh my God. You're not dealing with Jimmy here. Remember how long it took Jimmy to, to change this guy's mind? He followed him around to the Eight bathroom and everything. Four months probation. Four months probation. <laughs> She said, <laughs> You can't play chicken with me. I invented chicken. You are the chicken. <laughs> DR two Five. zero zero three Four months. one one four. Four months. Seven two Probation. One. State versus David Estrada. Yes. Good morning. Please be seated. 
This is such an interesting world to live in. I'm happy to say the defense and prosecution have reached an agreement. Hey, what? No, stand still. This is oh mine, God. remember? <laughs> um, I don't mean to rush you, but the meeting's in 15 and with traffic's. Wait, wait, got it. Thanks. She is one busy woman. I'm going to have a probation officer on my ass for four months. You should have heard. Listen to me. Here's what you're going to do. Today after you leave here, you will go straight to your grandfather's restaurant and you will beg him for a job. Any job. If he tells you to scrub the grill, you scrub the grill. If he tells you to clean the you toilet. Better listen to her, man. You clean the toilet. Because if you don't, you will go to jail. Let his ass know. Grown up jail with grown up bad guys. Picture that, David. Mm. I'm sorry, I can't. I have tons of Mesa Verde to catch up on. Isn't that why you have a paralegal? Well, I have to review her work. <laughs> you watch. Thanks. Her paralegal is awesome, by the way. Look at him. <laughs> oh. It wasn't bothering me. Yeah, I know. I just uh, realized there's something I need to do at work. At 9 o'clock at night? Yeah, well, it's my first week, you know. I want to make a good impression. I'm just getting the hang of the system, so. Okay. I'll just go What's he really Absolutely about to not. do? <laughs> you have work. I have work. It's okay. He's actually at the... He's actually there, though. Oh, God. going how you guys said for phones we got phones <laughs> private phones beat it narc oh come on would a narc drive this piece of shit take it back to impound narc <laughs> <laughs> this guy he just doesn't stop oh my god he's pulling out the the colorful oh no the jumpsuit this makes him look even more suspicious, honestly. <laughs> and you saw those guys by that telephone pole? I'm pretty sure those were the guys from from um from outside that one place. That hair. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> oh like, are you selling on our turf? Is, is he gonna risk it? But like, oh, this is a good opportunity. Oh my god, he's gonna buy up more than he can chew. What's that? Buy my phones. This little baby. It's the most compact model on the market. It can be hidden in any number of places. And uh, if you buy it from me with cash, it's completely untraceable. How much? Wow. Okay. It worked. <laughs> I can't believe it. I could have sworn it was going to go bad. Like he was getting too greedy or something like that. But all right. This time. Oh. Oh, look at those guys from earlier. Sorry, guys. You had your chance. I'm all sold out. Give me your money. Ah. I'm a narc. Ah. I saw you got cash. I gotta go. God damn it. There it is. Go, go, go. Wow, man. Shit. He's gonna remember those faces. He's gonna come at them hard. I can feel it. It's okay. What happened? I got mugged. Jeez. Ah, sorry. It sounds like you were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Back in the day, I would have spotted those low rent little skeeves from a mile away and they would have known not to roll me. Yeah, how would they have known that? Because back then, uh, 
I guess I was one of them. Well, those days are over. Yeah. You know what? Um, I think tomorrow I might uh, call that shrink. Really? Couldn't hurt, right? Good, actually. Yeah. If he, if he, if this isn't just lip service. That must be annoying to clean. Oh my god. Watch how long that took. He's not even halfway. Well, he is halfway done now. Okay. It's just still. Denise. Why are you still here? You were supposed to meet me in court an hour ago. Oh. So I missed it, right? Not yet. I got the clerk to push your hearing, but we've got to go now. I'm sorry, Ms. Wexler, but... I can't go to jail. You're definitely going to go to jail if you skip your hearing, right? I can't promise you no jail time. But what I do know for sure is that if you don't come with me right now to court, the judge is going to issue a bench warrant. Mm -hmm. And then jail is a done deal. Yeah. It's your first offense. It was under two ounces. Trust me, I'm good at this. Man. Why don't you change into something nice? We'll do this together. Hi, Paige. Kim, we've got a huge problem. Oh, There's no. There's a major error in the branch paperwork that went out to Denver and Flagstaff. It has to be fixed ASAP. Uh, unfortunately, I'm right in the middle of something, but I can be there at four. I need you now. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't. I don't know what to tell you, Paige. I just... Not right now. But, Kim, this is... I'm sorry. Oh, my God. This is bad. Denise, it's time. Come on, we gotta go. She ran. Oh, no, okay. Oh. Whew. You look great. Thanks. I thought she bolted for a second. I was like, oh, no. She lost her client all right. and also is... Going to have issues with Mesa Verde. This is bad. I'm nervous about this. Okay. Paige, I'm so sorry. Let's get this fixed right now. It's fixed. I had to pull everyone on the floor to retype and proof the submission because we didn't have the files and your paralegal didn't know where they were. I'd really like to apologize to Kevin personally as well if he's available. He's not. The mistake is not the issue here. Everyone makes mistakes. I need to know your head is in this. Yeah. Uh. You made us a promise that Mesa Verde would be your sole focus. When we need you, we need you. We're not a client you hang up on. It'll never happen again. I hope not. All right. I think the downward slope is happening. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is a different guy, isn't it? Uh, uh, yeah, he's. Mir so schlecht, ich kotze hier gleich ins Auto. <laughs> Speak English, please. <laughs> I'm going to throw up. <laughs> yeah. I suggest you don't. <sighs> yeah, hold on, we're almost there. You okay? Ah, <sighs> better. <laughs> Pardon. I don't like this guy. <laughs> I take the drug on me, but it doesn't help. Over there? Over there. Oh, he's old school. The other guy had the the laser um tape measure thing, you know? Oh, he is very thorough compared to the other guy. They're gonna go with him, I can feel it. So, I must construct secret walls of CFA piles working completely underground. Next, I must somehow place I-beams across the top of the secret walls to support the floor. I love how he's describing the, the process and everything. The other guy didn't do shit like this. Excuse me. Oh, he's hired. <laughs> 
I will need to move perhaps 1,700 cubic meters of dirt. That means trucking out about 200 loads. How long is it going to take? Going this deep, we will surely hit rock, which means blasting. Uh, we need schematics of utility in the area. You'll get those. Once the space is fully cleared, I can waterproof and fabricate casts for the retaining walls and pour concrete. We would need... Uh... <laughs> How much concrete? Oh, God. <laughs> He's laughing. About 150 cubic meters. A project like this, many, many things can go wrong. Do we have a visitor? From Guth himself, isn't it? Wow. That's, that's how sure he was of him. So, it's impossible? I didn't say that. Dangerous. I said optimal. Difficult. Very, very expensive. <laughs> Not quite impossible. Gustavo Fring. Es freut mich, Ihre Bekanntschaft zu machen. Lana Ziegler. Howard. Oh. Everything okay? He looks horrible. You ever have insomnia? Oh my really? god, this whole thing with Charles fucked him up. We wish it on the worst enemy. Uh, what's, what's eating you? He's like, you know. Jimmy, I think I've shared enough. More than enough. Let's leave it at that. We need to put this man on a suicide watch. I don't trust this. Like, he's just... I don't think I've ever seen Howard look so... You know what, defeated? Howard? Uh, you do yourself a favor, and you go see someone. Uh, thanks. I've already seen someone. Really? Twice a week. I think that's enough, see any good? <laughs> I'm with Jimmy. I can't, I can't tell. Good seeing you, Howard. You too. No. <sighs> now he thinks, oh, if it doesn't work for Howard, it's definitely not gonna work for me. For me. Damn it, man. One step forward, 20 steps back, I swear to God. Where were we? Community service. Oh yeah. Community Did service. you ever finish that? Right. <laughs> well, it looks like you completed your hours. Oh, okay, good. Yep. <laughs> Success. PD fees are up to date. How many hours a week? This week, uh, 31, but we'll pick up more. Next month, bring pay stubs. Will do. Have you thought about what you're going to do once your PPD is up? My partner and I will get a new office. It'll be like it was, but bigger and better. Everything will be better. I'm going to have more clients. I'm going to win more cases. I'm going to be a damn good lawyer that people are going to know about it. Okay. So. You asked. Lawyer. <laughs> yeah. Lawyer. Oh, my Lord. I mean, I'm glad to know that he still, you know, his goals are still to go back into being a practicing lawyer, but I'm just worried about the middle space from being a lawyer to where he is now, because pff, right now he's doing this whole little side gig of selling um, untraceable phones to, to gangs and all these other people. I'm just like, oh, Jimmy, how are we going to, we need, we have to keep our nose clean and he's not making it easy for himself to stay clean. And about Howard, by the way, I wish his conversation with Howard didn't deter Jimmy from not going to see the therapist that um, Kim found for him. Because therapy might not work for everybody, but that doesn't mean that it won't work for you as well. That doesn't mean that you're not the exception. Because there's a lot of things wrong with Jimmy, and there's a lot of issues and personal things that he has gone through. And for him to just completely throw that out the window just because going two times per week isn't for Howard or isn't working for Howard. It doesn't mean it's not going to work for you. Hell, that could mean that he just needs to talk more or he needs to visit more or hell, maybe find a new therapist. 
there's nothing wrong with you know exploring your option but just the idea of oh it didn't work for howard and howard for as much as long as i've known him for has always been composed if it's not working for somebody who is moderately more composed than i am then it's not gonna work for me that's a horrible mindset to have but anyways i'm going we'll see how this goes for one for howard because i'm very curious to see how he is i'm very worried for howard like i am seriously worried for his well-being his longest partner committed suicide and now i'm just like hell i think howard's gonna be next because just look at this guy it doesn't appear like he's getting any better whatsoever obviously what jimmy told him didn't help at all either it's just i think now more than ever howard needs something to make his life better or worth living or whatever the case might be because whatever he's doing right now him trying to work as if nothing ever happened as if everything is normal is not working but we'll see how that goes but until then of course if you guys are watching this over on youtube definitely check out the patreon for full length access as well as early access to anything better call Saul plus any other shows and movies that we are watching i would love your support but aside from that you guys have a great day slash night and i'll see you next time subscribe